Hey guys, right now is a perfect time to give your right that nice long awaited clean that it needs, get it stripped off and apply a nice fresh coat of protection on there. So that's what today's video is about. We're showing you guys the full A to Z process on, you know, making sure that you give it the nice deep clean, making sure that we do everything the proper way and making sure that our coat of protection is gonna last as long as possible. And in the process, show you guys how to maintain the amazing shine and condition of your vehicle. So stay tuned. We're gonna be showing you guys all that right now. All right guys, so first things first, we gotta start off with the wheels. So we wanna make sure that we clean the wheels first, get this super filthy stuff out the way so that we can continue with the wash. So as you guys can see, the wheels are pretty filthy. They do have a matte finish and these tires are extremely dirty along with the undercarriage. So we need to have a nice full deep clean. I have a ton of brushes in my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock some of this stuff out. I'll explain a little bit more about the brushes as we go. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk them into my bucket of just water right now. I have my Diablo wheel cleaner gel. Now I'm using Diablo as our primary wheel cleaning gel because these are a matte finish. If you guys don't know, Diablo wheel gel is actually pH balanced and that bird is very loud. Diablo wheel gel is actually pH neutral, which means that it's safe for use on all wheel finishes. So whether they be a glossy finish, aluminum finish, you know, whatever kind of finish, even this matte finish, it's gonna be entirely safe for it. And it's a gel based formula. So that means that it's gonna foam up and it's gonna give us that nice deep lather so that we can deep clean our wheel without inflicting any kind of scratches or swirls. So the way to use this is since it's a gel based formula, you can actually go ahead and dunk it into your bucket here full of water. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put about two ounces. And then I'm gonna activate my Diablo wheel gel with my water. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on jet mode, foam it up and get the nice deep rich lather. As you guys see right there, the product foams up very nicely. And that's great for us because that's gonna mean added lubrication, which is gonna prevent us from, you know, inflicting any kind of damage to our wheels. I also have Diablo right here in our ducky sprayer uh, foam nozzle here. So this is in a secondary sprayer. This is already diluted. This is the one that we pretty much use to just kind of clean the wheels. We do have it in concentrate. Like I said, the gel is a concentrated formula. So if you wanted to, you can apply about an ounce or two into your wash, you know, your bucket to clean your wheels, or you can dilute it to a three to one ratio in your secondary sprayer bottle. You also have the dilution ratios on the bottle itself so that you can pretty much label about where you need to fill it up with Diablo. And then you pretty much fill up the rest with water, mix it up and you got yourself a, you know, a 32 ounce bottle of ready to use product. So I'm gonna give this a pre-rinse, knock off as much of that dirt, dust, and debris that I can before we get into our deep cleaning. So now that we have that clean, it's time to clean our undercarriage. Now I'm starting off with the top first because I wanna knock off all the dirt and grime from the undercarriage first before we get into the wheel cleaning. So to do that, I'm gonna be using our All Clean, which is an all-purpose cleaner. It's a citrus based cleaner, which means that it's gonna do an amazing job at breaking down all the dirt and grime that's stuck on the undercarriage. So this is a very easy to use product. All you wanna do is spray a nice little coat and you'll see that it starts breaking down all the dirt, grime, and pretty much everything that's on this undercarriage that's causing it to look nasty. So I'm just gonna spray a nice coat throughout the entire thing. And then I'm gonna grab my giant wheel brush right here. Now this right here is great because as you guys can see, it has a nice long handle, which means that I'm not gonna have to stick my hand all the way inside to get that deep clean. I can just get that nice deep clean without having to stick my hand in there. So this works out exceptionally well for these undercarriage areas because it gives you that nice deep clean and it gives you that nice safe clean so that you don't have to, you know, stick your hand in there, jack up your hands or anything like that. It works out great. And, you know, it's the most versatile brush so that, you know, you can get that all around clean. The bristles as well, they, are, they have a nice soft flag tip material so that they're super safe. Even on these soft, like kind of like smooth plastics, they work out very great to just give them a nice deep clean without having to use like an aggressive brush that can actually damage or scratch them up or anything like that. So like I said, you get nice and deep in there with this long flag handle brush. And then once you're done, you can pretty much set that down. I'm not gonna put it in my bucket because I don't wanna uh, cross contaminate it with my, my wheel brushes that are in there. And then I'm just gonna give this a light little rinse. All 
All right, so we just finished uh, rinsing the undercarriage. The reason I uh, cleaned the undercarriage and rinsed it off first is because I wanted to get the heavy, dirty stuff out the way. I don't know if you guys were able to see, but the undercarriage is actually very, very caked with a lot of dirt and grime. And I just wanted to knock that stuff out before I get into my wheel cleaning. So now I'm gonna begin with the wheel cleaning process. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the tires. Since the tires are extremely filthy, I don't know if you guys paid attention to like when before I actually rinsed them down, they were actually very brown and very nasty. So the cool thing about all clean is that, like I said, it's an all purpose cleaner. So it works on virtually a lot of surfaces. So you can use it on stuff like rubber. So I'm, I'm gonna spray a light coat onto the rubber itself. So onto the tires, this is gonna work out great for pretty much breaking down all that dirt, grime, all the previous dressings that are on this tire so that we get that nice deep clean. And then I'm gonna grab my nifty bristle brush. Now this brush right here, it's a hard texture. The reason we want a hard texture brush to scrub our tires is because the tires are pretty, they're actually very durable and they have a lot of like uh, grooves that we wanna get nice and deep in there. But not only that, but we also wanna knock off all the dirt and grime that's embedded in the tire. So by us doing that, I'm gonna spray my, my cleaner into my brush for some added cleaning power. And then I'm just gonna scrub the tires. You guys see we get that nice foaming, that nice deep cleaning action. Now that's right there. It's pretty much getting all the dirt and grime and any kind of previous dressings and you know stuff that's on the tires. So we get the nice deep clean so that whenever we're done, you know, rinsing our, our wheel and washing our car, we can apply a coat of tire dressing on this. And the dressing itself would actually bond a lot better because it's on a bare surface. So making sure that we get nice and deep into these grooves. And then once you're done, you can pretty much set your brush down and then rinse it off. And now all that's left is for us to clean the wheel itself. So we've done the undercarriage, we've done our tire. Now all we have to do is clean the wheel. I'm gonna move my bucket here just so that you guys can get like a little better of a view. I'm also just gonna reactivate my suds just a little bit right here, just to get the ultimate deep clean. And then I'm gonna grab my Diablo, that's an, our ready to use spray bottle, and I'm just gonna spray a light coat. Now, the cool thing about this sprayer head is that it has a filter on the tip that actually shoots your product in a foamy manner. So check this out when I spray it. As you guys can see, it shoots the product in a foamy manner. So it pretty much activates the product for us so that we get that nice, deep, ultimate clean. Then once we spray a nice coat, I'm gonna grab my flag tip brush. Now this brush right here, it's just kind of like the one that we use for the undercarriage, only that it's shorter so that we don't have to worry about all the extra slack getting in our way. And we have another brush so that we don't cross contaminate. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and gently pretty much scrub the surface, working away from top to bottom. As you guys know, these wheels are a matte finish. So you wanna make sure that the brush that you use to clean these wheels are nice and soft to the point where, you know, they're gonna knock off the dirt and grime that's on the surface, but you know, not too harsh where it's gonna scratch the surface itself. So having a brush like this in your arsenal is key to getting that ultimate wheel deep clean. And then once you have done a little section, you can come back to your bucket, grab some more suds, and then clean the other side as well. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the, the bristles on the brush are actually extremely flexible, which means that it's easy to get into all these hard to reach areas. And it pretty much contours to the shape of the wheel itself so that you're not there having a hard time with like a stiffer brush. Then once you're done with that, I like coming back with a smaller brush. Now I have my boar's hair brush right here because this is the brush that I like to dedicate to cleaning up all these like lug nut areas. I'm sorry, these are your lug nuts. These are a lot of little rivets that are around the wheel, which also uh, tend to collect a lot of dirt and grime so that you just wanna make sure that you get nice and deep in there. You know, the key to an ultimate wheel clean is making sure that you get into all the harder reach areas. That's what pretty much makes it, you know, a nice deep wheel cleaning. And having all the essential tools is key to get in that nice deep clean as well. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, what's gonna look good is that all the details of your wheel are clean, such as like the emblem right here, as far as like the logo of the wheel, all these rivets around the vehicle, and all these hard to reach areas that, you know, may I may have not been able to get to with my other brush. So, you know, if you guys are wondering why I have so many brushes, you know, there's not one wheel brush that's gonna do all the job for you. You know, you're gonna need different tools, you know, just like a mechanic needs different tools and different sizes, you know, we're also gonna need the same thing just because we wanna get that nice and ultimate clean. So now that we're done cleaning, we're just gonna give it that final rinse and see our results. So 
So we just did the driver's side wheel and now we want to do the back side, the passenger side and the passenger front. So we want to get that nice ultimate clean all around. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to clean all the other wheels and the undercarriage, get this nice deep clean and then we're going to proceed with the actual wash itself. Right, guys we're done we're wrapped up with the wheels now it's time to wash the truck so as you guys can see i have a bunch of stuff right here in front of me don't freak out i'm gonna break all this stuff down so i have first right here my chenille microfiber wash mitt now this wash mitt is great because you see all the little noodles well that's gonna help you agitate your vehicle so that you safely wipe it down knock off all that dirt and grime safely without inflicting any kind of damage so this is going to be the super ultimate safe way to wipe down your vehicle and give it a nice deep clean in combination i have my two bucket method here with my two dirt traps along with two different soaps that you might see right here right on top the first one being our honeydew snow foam the second one being clean slate now the reason i'm using these two different soaps is because one honeydew snow foam is going to help me achieve the ultimate deep foam wash when paired with our big mouth foam cannon so it's going to create a super thick rich layer of foam that's going to uplift dirt and grime from the vehicle and like i said give us that nice deep clean so that we're not you know pretty much working in all that dirt and grime that's on the vehicle pretty much you know wiping it all over the place causing damage so this is going to help us uplift a lot of that dirt and grime and then in combination we're going to be using it with our clean slate auto wash now this right here the reason for this product is to strip off any kind of previous coats of wax sealants and glazes on the vehicle why do we want to do that well we're going to be applying a fresh coat of wax sealant we don't know entirely what we're going to do yet we do know that we are going to be applying some form of paint protection and in order to have the best bond for that paint protection we want to make sure that there's nothing on the vehicle so that's why we're going to use clean slate to kind of kill two birds with one stone to wash your vehicle and knock off all that previous coats of wax and anything any kind of protective layers that might be on the paint so i'm going to be using that in combination with the foam cannon and then i also have my two bucket method with my two dirt traps if you guys don't know what a dirt trap is it's a filtration system for your bucket so as you're going back and forth from your bucket to your car you know these dirt traps they set at the bottom of your bucket and they filter out any kind of dirt grime dust and all that stuff it keeps it at the bottom of your bucket so that you're not pretty much going back and forth with the same dirt and grime from your bucket to your car vice versa and then scratching your paint all up so i'm going to set these down kind of like at an angle and then as i get towards the bottom I'm just gonna kind of set them down flat and that kind of creates the little suction and it keeps it at the bottom of your bucket. And then once you have that set up, you're pretty much done with your buckets. You don't need to do anything else besides um, dedicating one as your wash bucket. So the one that I'm gonna dedicate as my wash bucket is gonna be the one on your right hand side, my left hand side, the one with the red dirt trap. I'm gonna apply about an ounce of soap into this bucket just so that we get some nice added lubrication on top of the foam cannon foam bath. So one ounce is equivalent to about one good squirt. That was kind of a weak squirt, but don't mind that. The squirt is in there, the soap is in there, and then we're gonna activate it right now once we turn on our pressure washer. But before we do that, we wanna make sure that we set up our foam cannon. So I kinda like to pre-fill my foam cannon with water just cause it saves some time. And I don't have to unplug the foam cannon and you know filling it up with the, with the foam cannon nozzle. Cause as you guys know, it takes forever with the little pressure washer. So don't worry about that. It's filled up with water already. Now I'm gonna apply about an ounce of honeydew snow foam into my big mouth max release foam cannon. Same thing, one good squirt. And then I'm gonna apply an ounce of our clean slate into our foam cannon. Now, the reason I like mixing these two products, especially with a snow foam is because the clean slate, whenever you wash your vehicle with clean slate, you kinda wanna give it some time to lather on the vehicle, let it kinda do its thing, break down those waxes. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna connect my foam cannon and then just put the nozzle on there, set that tight. And then I'm just gonna stir it in there, make sure that the product mixes well together with the water and the clean slate soap. 
and our foam cannon is ready to go. So I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna turn on the pressure washer right now. I'm gonna give the vehicle a light rinse just to kind of knock off a lot of the loose dirt and grime, knock off that stuff, give it a nice foam bath with the foam cannon, and then I'll be back with you guys to show you guys the wiping process. All right guys, so now that the car is all foamed up, I usually give it about 30 seconds to a minute, just to kind of lather, uplift any kind of dirt and grime before I start proceeding with actually wiping it down with their wash mitt. So now that I give that about 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna grab my wash mitt here, put that on. So now I'm gonna dunk it into my bucket of soap that I've already activated with the pressure washer. As you guys can see, I got some nice suds going on on my wash mitt, and then I proceed with washing the car. So whenever you wash your car, we want to make sure to work from top to bottom. And I can't reach the roof right now because I don't have my step ladder, but I'm going to show you guys right here on the hood. Whenever you wipe down your car, you want to do it in straight motions. You don't want to do that circular motion because as you guys know, if you get anything caught on your wash mitt, you could potentially mimic that motion and cause that ugly, scratchy, swirly effect that you see on vehicles. So don't do that. Go straight lines and you'll have an easier time. And then when you wipe, you want to make sure to just wipe in straight motions and get that nice deep clean. And you do have two different sides to your wash mitt. So you can flip it to the opposite side and cover another area if you'd like. I'm gonna move on to this side of the hood. I'm also gonna flip it internally the other way so that I can use this side to wipe it down. And then proceed with cleaning the hood of this truck. I am gonna grab my little step ladder. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna get that little middle section. I'm just kind of showing you guys the way to wipe uh, your car down. And then once you do a little section or so, grab your wash mitt, wring it out outside of your bucket. The reason you wanna do this is because any kind of dirt and grime that's like loosely within the soap and the water that's in your mitt already, that stuff just gets knocked out to the ground. And then you have further, you know, um, filtration through your dirt trap right here. So right here in this bucket, we have just water, nothing fancy. I did get a little bit of soap in there when I kind of made a little splash. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be anything bad. Dunk your wash mitt into your bucket. And then you're pretty much going to scrub the, the face of the wash mitt on the dirt trap at the bottom of your bucket. And you want to do this for both sides because remember we did use both sides. So after I do that, I'm just going to flip it around, put it on this side. And then I'm gonna scrub the opposite side of the wash mitt. And remember, this is knocking loose any kind of dirt contamination that's in my wash mitt. So anything that's within these noodles, it's getting knocked out right now, and it's getting filtered through the dirt trap that's at the bottom of the bucket. And once you do that, as you guys can see, the water is kind of like, uh, not as clear anymore because they, there is like dirt and grime in there now. So once you've rinsed it off, then you wanna proceed with doing this process one more time outside of your bucket. Because remember, now that this is just filled up with water, we're just gonna knock off any kind of you know dirt and grime that may still be in there. And then you come back to your soap bucket, grab yourself some more cleaning sets, and you're ready to proceed with the rest of your vehicle. So like I said, I start off with the hood. I still need to get that middle section. We'll get it right now, but whenever you wipe your car down, you wanna work from top to bottom. So start on the roof, work your way around, and then pretty much knock off the lower bodies, uh, the lower body panels towards the end when you're done wiping your car down because you don't wanna cross contaminate. You don't wanna start off at the bottom, pick up all the dirt and grime that's up here, and then bring it up top. Cause odds are, you know, your, the top of your vehicle is not gonna be as dirty as the lower parts of your vehicle because it doesn't kick up all that stuff that you drive over. So I'm gonna set my wash mitt down real quick and show you guys something else because on this truck, I do have a separate brush right here. This is a separate brush than from what I use on my wheels when I did the wheels earlier. This is a separate boar's hair brush. I'm gonna dunk it into some soap right here. And I don't know if you guys can see right here, but you have a lot of plastic. This truck has a ton of plastic on the front end and you can use a brush to get nice and deep in there, get that nice deep clean because as you guys can see, we have a lot of uh, uh, textured plastics. So using a brush like this works out extremely well. And we can also use it on the grill right here just because this is more of like a, it's a plastic material. 
it's not so much painted so we can use a nice brush on this as well and because it's kind of hard to get in there with the big wash mitt you know whenever it comes to precision you want to make sure that you have the ultimate precision so you want to make sure that you're using the right tools to get the job done right so that's why i usually carry a brush with me as i'm washing the car just so that i can get into all these little areas as you guys can see we have the grill uh, you have a lot of the lower areas as well such as like this little plastic lip right here you know, you have a ton of areas that, you know, you might find something like a brush very useful. I mean, if you come towards the sides over here, you have like decals and stuff as well. So you can go ahead and clean up your decals as you wash your car, just so that you get the nice deep clean. And you don't need to go crazy with it. You don't need to put a ton of pressure, just lightly feather it, get into all the little grooves and stuff like that. Your plastic mirrors as well, you can give them a nice little deep clean as you're cleaning your car and you're foaming it. As you guys see right here, there's a ton of plastic, so we can get nice and deep in there, scrubbing all those areas out, so that once we're done, you know, scrubbing the car down, we rinse it off, our car is completely clean on the outside, and all we have to do once it's dry, you know, just put some dressing on these plastics. So once we're done pretty much scrubbing all these little plastics and all these hard to reach areas, once we're done cleaning them, we, you know, we rinse off our car, we dry it up, throw some dressing on, and we're as good as new. So right now, I'm gonna proceed with cleaning the rest of the truck. As you guys see, we have a ton of little emblems. We got a ton of paints who still wipe down with their wash mitts. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna finish wiping down the truck, getting it clean, rinsing it off, and show you guys the final results. All right guys, it's time for drying, which means that I'm pulling out my awesome woolly mammoth drying towel and I'm gonna dry up this entire truck just using one towel. So that's the awesome thing about this towel is that it's super thick, it's super plush, and it's super big, which means that it's gonna soak up all the water on here, no problem. The reason I love it is because you can go ahead and set it down on the paint, go ahead and drag it, and it picks up all that water nicely and evenly. Unless you have a groove in your hood, then you may miss a spot, but just come right back over and you're good to go. So the cool thing about this towel is that it's super easy to use. You can fold it around to your liking. As you guys see, this is a pretty big truck. So we want to have a towel that's going to help us and you know allow us to dry the entire thing without having to go with like so many little towels. I know I see a lot of guys out there with like small little thin microfiber towels to dry their car. I mean, that works out and all, but I mean, if you want to have the ultimate drying experience, you got to pick yourself up one of these awesome woolly mammoths. They're super convenient and you can pretty much dry your entire truck no problem no hassle get it nice and dry within just a few minutes so that's what i'm going to finish doing right now just going to dry up the rest of the truck get this thing nice and dry and then we'll proceed with the next step All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for our deep clean. As you guys can see, the truck looks amazing. However, we are still not completely done yet. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, since we just finished washing it and it's in its clean condition, we're gonna pull it inside the detail garage. We're gonna pull it in, we're gonna inspect the paint, see what it needs and give it the love that it deserves. So we're gonna do that right now. Make sure to stay tuned for a second part where we inspect the paint, You know, decide whether we're gonna have to clay bar the paint polish the paint and figure out what kind of paint protection that we want to put on this truck. So make sure to stay tuned for part two. You don't want to miss out. If you guys like this video or if you guys like any of the products that we use today, make sure to visit our website chemicalguys.com or swing by your local detail garage to get your products today. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.